Hello, my beautiful babies. Guess what today is? Today is Taco Tuesday. Welcome all of our new subscribers and all of our old friends. It's so good to see you here. And thank you so much for coming back and sharing. You know, I've shared Hansel and Gretel with you before, but I found another version of Hansel and Gretel. And I would love to share this with you. You ready? All right, let's go. Oh, you guys, I'm in a different location. Can you tell? I hope that's okay. I couldn't wait to get this story out to you, so I wanted to go ahead and read it where I am. All right, let's begin. But you know I'm going to show you all the pictures. Once upon a time, there were two children named Hansel and Gretel. They lived in a small cottage at the end of the forest with their father and stepmother. Hansel and Gretel's father was a woodcutter and he was very poor and the family didn't have much food to eat. The day came when there was hardly any food left at all. What are we to do, cried father. The stepmother who didn't like Hansel and Gretel said, we must take the children into the thickest part of the forest and leave them there. There just aren't, there just are too many mouths to feed. We can't do that, protested the father, for he loved his children dearly. We must or we'll all die of hunger, screeched his wife. The children are going and that is that. From their bedroom, Hansel and Gretel overheard the conversation and Gretel burst into tears. Don't worry, Hansel said. I'll look after you. When their parents went to bed, Hansel crept out of the house and he laid down white pebbles that shone like cones in the silvery moonlight. He filled his pockets up with them and then went back to bed. Early the next morning, the stepmother hurried Hansel and Gretel out of bed. Come on, children, we're going into the forest to chop wood, she told them. With a heavy heart, the woodcutter led his children into the forest. As they walked along, Hansel dropped the pebbles from his pockets onto the path. When they reached the middle of the forest, the woodcutter said, Wait here, we'll be back as soon as we've finished chopping wood. Hansel and Gretel waited all day, but their father and stepmother didn't come back. Soon it was dark among the thick trees, and Gretel was frightened. We'll find our way home, Hansel comforted his sister. When the moon rose high in the sky, the white pebbles that Hansel had left on the path lit up and he grabbed his sister's hand. Come on, Gretel, the pebbles will show us the way home. When Hansel and Gretel returned, the woodcutter was relieved to see his children again, but their stepmother was furious. should have been happy to see their babies, right? Before long, the woodcutter and his family had very little food again. Tomorrow we will take the children deeper into the forest. They must not find their way home, the stepmother cried. This time, as they were led deep into the forest, 
Hansel left his trail of breadcrumbs. When their parents didn't return from chopping wood, Hansel said, We'll follow the breadcrumbs I dropped onto the path. They'll lead us home again. But when the moon came up, Hansel and Gretel couldn't see any crumbs. What happened to the crumbs, you guys? The birds must have eaten them all up, whispered Hansel. Frightened and hungry, Hansel and Gretel curled under a tree and they went to sleep, waiting anxiously for daylight. The next morning, they wandered through the forest after a while. They came upon a clearing and a little cottage. Hansel, look, said Gretel. The cottage is made out of candy and gingerbread. The children were so hungry, they grabbed some candy from the walls of the house. And just then, the door opened and an old woman hobbled out. Come on in, children, she said, smiling. I've got plenty more food in here. Their stomachs growling, Hansel and Gretel followed the old woman into the cottage. After a delicious meal, she showed them the two little beds for them to sleep in, and they lay down and went to sleep. Are you enjoying this story? I hope you are. It's good so far, isn't it? Let's see what happens. The children didn't know that the old woman was actually a wicked old witch who liked to eat children. When Hansel and Gretel woke up from their nap, the witch grabbed Hansel and locked him in a cage. She set Gretel to work cleaning and cooking huge meals to fatten up Hansel. Weeks passed and every morning the witch watched Hansel to see if the boy was getting fat. The witch eyesight was so bad that she thought the bone was Hansel's finger and she wondered why the boy wasn't getting any fatter and one day the witch grew impatient. I can't wait any longer, she screeched. I'm going to cook Hansel now. Gretel was terrified. Well, bake some bread to eat with your brother, said the witch. Go and check and see if the oven is hot enough. Grabbing Gretel's arm. The wicked witch pushed her roughly towards the open oven door. Grinning horribly, she licked her cracked lips and she was planning on eating Gretel too and couldn't wait for her delicious meal. <gasps> Ooh. Gretel guessed the witch is tricked. I'm too big to fit in there, she said. Oh, you silly girl, crackled the witch. Even I can fit in there. And she put her head into the oven to prove that she was right. Gretel gave her a giant push and the witch fell right inside Gretel, right inside. Gretel quickly slammed the oven door shut. Hansel, the witch is dead, cried Gretel, and she unlocked her brother's cage. As Hansel and Gretel made their way out of the house, they discovered that it was full of sparkling jewels and gold coins. The children stuffed their pockets with all the treasures. Come on, Gretel, laughed Hansel. Let's go home. 
Their father was so overjoyed to see them. He told them that their stepmother had died while they were gone and that they had nothing to fear anymore. Hansel and Gretel showed their father the jewels and coins they've discovered and they would be poor no longer. And from then on, the woodcutter and his children were never hungry again. The end. You guys, Hansel and Gretel is one of my favorite stories. It talks about siblings and it talks about your mom or stepmom, your dad, and it talks about love. And it just talks about family. And this story had a happy ending. You all, I pray that everybody has a happy ending with all that we're going through. We're going through a lot right now. But let's hang in there. Let's hang in there. Make sure you're washing your hands and make sure you're staying clean. If you know anyone who needs help, help them the best way that you can. And you can do that because why? Because you're the greatest. Miss V. Send you peace. Send you joy. And send you love.